Corn Hollywood is roaming the regions of Mexico, exploring the country through its food. Obviously, I've never had an ant before. Right now, he's heading into the mountains for a quite bizarre and incongruous taste of home. His destination is the small mining town of Mineral del Monte in Hidalgo province. A charming town, colourful, vibrant and beautiful. But walking around the place, one thing stood out above everything else. Cornish pasties. It's true, and this is brilliant. Mineral del Monte is home to around 40 bakeries making and selling Cornish pasties, or pastes, as they're known around these parts. The town is so famous for its pasties that tourists come here specially for them, chomping through tens of thousands of them every week. Paul's first stop is, of course, one of the bakeries. Well, it's his safe place. I want to see how the Cornish traditional pasty has turned into the Real de Monte pasty. Rosa Marquez has been making pastes for most of her life. A mí me encanta hacer pastes. Tengo nada más 42 años haciéndolos. So is this the uh, mixture? Uh, is it cooked? Todo va crudo, al igual que en Corwell. Vamos a hacer un paste de papa, que es el que trajeron los mineros ingleses. Mm. And there's the link. Thank you, Rosa. In 1824, 130 Cornish tin miners travelled 5,000 miles to Mineral del Monte to revive its failing silver mining industry, and they never went home. It's funny, because the last time I made a, a pasty, I was in Cornwall. Ah, muy bien. Yeah, I remember them all watching me very carefully. Aquí también lo vamos a supervisar. <laughs> Of course, being proper Cornwall born and bred, the miners couldn't live without their pasties. They taught the locals how to make them, and soon the whole town became a little bit pasty obsessed. Do you ever make the traditional with the jam in one end? Sí. You do? Sarsamora. Ah. So, what do mineral pastes taste like? The flavour is beautiful. There's a lot of meat in there with the flaky pastry, it's delicious. And then the little bit of chilli just lifts it. You should open up a shop in Cornwall. Ya me voy. Encouraged by his enthusiasm, Rosa decides Paul should try some other flavours. Guayaba. Yeah. Piña. Ah. Manzana. <laughs> Ahorita los vas a probar. I'm not having all those, no. Arroz, I, know what you, I know what you're doing. You're todos. trying to get me fatter, aren't you? I know you are. You're a feeder. You're a feeder. <laughs> Despite Paul's protestations, Rosa's not giving up. Hice pequeños para ah, que los yes, puedas yes. probar. Frijol, zarzamora, guayaba. She insisted that I tried all of her pasties. And she makes a lot of them. Yes, yes. Zarzamora, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to make me uh, fatter. Uh -huh. Like a balloon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> Yes, yes. She says, yeah, I look like a balloon. I love you too. Unbelievable. <laughs> I didn't want to be ungrateful to Rosa, but I knew I had a lot more pasty eating to get through that day. He has. And that's because when the pastes makers of Mineral del Monte heard a world-famous baking judge was coming to town, they decided they must hold a competition. It reminds me of the traditional way she's doing it. It's very neat. Gracias. They want Paul to judge the best pastes in the town and are all now busy baking their signature specialities. And while everyone's busy baking, we can do some more history. Many of the original miners are buried in an English graveyard above the town, laid to rest facing Cornwall. Mineral del Monte is now twinned with Red Ruth in the real Cornwall, and some direct descendants still live in the town. For example, Julieta Tejeda Islas and her son, Carlos. Your family, you go back to the original miners that came here in 1820, is that correct? Sí. Wow. <laughs> and the gentleman you have in your lap, the picture, is this your, I'm guessing, great, great, great grandfather? Quinta, sexta. That is incredible. That's mine manager, Absalom Noble. Looks familiar, doesn't he? 
Y ojalá hubiera sido pariente de nosotros, porque sí, mire, le encuentro un, un parecido a él. So, uh, you could be a distant cousin to me. Es muy probable, Paul, <laughs> que salgamos algo familiarizados. Las caritas, las yeah. caritas. I'll take this home and show my mother. <laughs> right, back to the main event. With all 40 pastes baked and laid out beautifully in front of an impressive monument to the Cornish miners, the competitors line up to watch Judge Paul do his thing and decide who will win his rather lovely golden pasty trophy. As I said, Paul's got 40 pastes to work his way through, so this could take some time. I was repeatedly and endlessly impressed. There wasn't a bad pasty in there. An amazing range of flavors, spicy beans, salmon, shredded chicken, mole, guava, apple and cheese, even rice pudding pasties, and not a soggy bottom in sight. Finally, Paul is ready to give his verdict. And understandably, he's found it impossible to single out any one baker. It's not fair for me to pick one person in this place because every one of these pasties was fantastic. Muchos gracias. Well, that decision went down well. Paul's brought a Cornish tea towel with the original pasty recipe on it for every bakery and presents the golden pasty to the whole town to share. A brilliant day, brilliant pasties, and the perfect end with tequila, smiles, dancing, and a mariachi band. Salud, Mineral del Monte. Hola,